Ladies and gentlemen, it's Eric from Belgrade Beat, and um, I keep on getting emails from people who are asking about opening up a business in Serbia. So I think that there's um, advice that I would like to give to people who are thinking about doing this. And this morning I got an email from a guy from India um, who wants to move to Serbia and open up a business. So I hope that this advice will save uh, people who are thinking of doing this a lot of time and perhaps a lot of money as well. Um, so basically my advice, for open my advice for opening up a business in Serbia is do not open up a business in Serbia. Please listen to me one more time. Do not open up a business in Serbia. Maybe you need to hear it one more time because you, you could actually try it and then in two, three years, you'll say he was right. Do not open up a business in Serbia. Why? Because it's not a rich country. It's not a country which, I mean, it, okay, if it was possible to open up a business in Serbia for, with an average level of entrepreneurial intelligence and, you know, thrive and stuff, wouldn't more Serbian people be doing that? No, instead they're fleeing the country en masse because the business culture in their country is so bad and the amount of opportunity is so low that they want to go to the first country that they can possibly go to either get a job or open up a business there. And Serbs are very intelligent, well-educated, and when they travel to other countries, very successful people and in Serbia no foreigners coming in to open up a business very difficult I mean I would say okay you're from India India if you look at the economic numbers India is a much more booming economic country than Serbia is right now there's much more potential for growth there's much more massive success stories than there are in Serbia currently I would say the only re way you could open up a business in Serbia is if you're getting money from outside for doing things like IT services or some other outsourcing that's uh, that's why I'm able to live in Serbia is because I'm an IT consultant and la di la 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 and I you know live in Serbia off of the money that I make deals with people abroad and they send money. That works. That works. But you have these romantic notions in your head. You have these fantasies about coming to Serbia, opening up a bakery, um, and cashing in. No, 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 no. Have you done it in your own country? If not, you think you're going to do it in Serbia? You think you're going to do it if you don't speak Serbian? You think you're going to do it if you don't know the disposition and mentality of, of the employees, the authorities, the government, uh, the, the organized criminals, and all this stuff? You think you're going to do it? I, I'd like to see you try and succeed because from what I see, there's a really great failure rate for this. I see lots of places opening and then closing opening closing again and again even a chain as big as the uh, british costa coffee failed completely completely failed i don't know the story but i remember it was there for years it was you know they were doing good business nice cafes and everything failed so do not open up a business in serbia if you have to if you really have to then i would say that you really need to work hard and you really need to deliver something unique you know, like just a bakery, like there's, there's thousands of bakeries already in, in Belgrade. There's, you know, they make money, but the reason that they make money is because they target people for 50 dinars at a time. So if you can figure out where you can turn over uh, transactions of 50 dinars and make a profit and stuff. And and the other thing is, okay, you can probably, in the end, if you're really smart and business and hardworking, uh, you can probably do it. But then you're going to be, um, then you are going to be paying people a uh, Serbian wage of, you know, 200 to 400 euros a month. And would you be happy living on that wage? So are you happy essentially exploiting people? Because, uh, because like, um, my perspective is the living wage in Belgrade should be about 800 euros. That's a decent living wage that allows a decent personal life. And, yeah, so, I mean, what do you want to do? Maybe you can find a way to do something online, but um, get the money from outside. That's really easy to make a success in Serbia because you can hire 
brilliant people. If you get a contract from abroad and doing something like web development or anything like that, graphic design, I don't care. You can find amazingly talented people. But if you want to make money off of Serbian people giving you money and think that you're somehow smarter than they are, that you're going to beat them at their own game. I've got a story for you. I met a guy who uh, started an uh, English teaching school. And... Um, it was successful. He busted his, busted it as his ass for a few years, um, and ultimately it was successful. You know what happened then? Guys came. They said, "If you want to keep this open, we need twenty thousand euros." Long story short, he closed his language school. Do you want that to happen to your bakery, your restaurant, etc.? After you become successful. So, long story short, you're tripping. You're, you've got some sick fantasy about Serbia that is not the reality. Either figure out how to get uh, contracts from abroad or do not open up a business in Serbia. Thank you.